Senator Harkin. My name is Angie Plager. I'm with People for Quality Care. We have gathered many stories for you from your constituents here in Iowa to show you the negative impact that the Medicare's competitive bidding program will have. We respectfully request that you listen to all of these stories to show you just how important independence, quality of life, and freedom of choice really is for people with disabilities. We thank you for being a champion for the disability community and request that you continue to do so. We really need you now more than ever to stop the Medicare competitive bidding program. Thank you. The biggest concern is if these providers are, are gone, I'm gonna be without access to the help I need when I need it. Um, my independence is very important and they provide a big support for that independence. Yes. Yes. Um, this is a tilt recline chair because of I need to do pressure release to take the pressure off my lower extremities and I got stuck in the recline position and um, had to call them in order to come out and fix my chair and it was after hours but they came out so so very very important yeah and it, without a local provider you know I would be I would be in a real bad place I mean I'd be stuck for a long period of time well it allows me to go to work be out in the community um, you know without without access to the equipment you're basically looking at a nursing home or you know bed bound or whatever so it's very important it's very important there um, while there's a limited number of names um, I've built a relationship over the last 14 years with this company and, and I think it, you know, I can call them at spur of the moment, after hours, and they're always there for me. Imagine my wheelchair. I have one of those a year too. Those are my legs. That's how I get from point A to point B. To remain independent, to grocery shop, to spend time at the zoo with my goddaughter, to go out for a nice evening dinner with my soulmate. But if I don't have the use of this equipment, I've got nothing. Yes, it's all about saving money. Who doesn't want to save money? I do, but I don't want to have to compromise on the quality of my equipment because someone may have a cheaper price. This needs to stay close to home, to someone who knows me, who knows my situation. I'm an individual. The choice needs to remain mine. It's just like, you know, your favorite, favorite store you go to. You know, you like going there because you know the people there can help you. It's the same way. What if they said you can't go to that place? You have to go to a place an hour or two hours away. It's the same thing for us. Mm -hmm. And like with someone in a wheelchair, you wouldn't be able to get there. Uh, how do you feel about freedom of choice to choose the equipment and provider you need? I think that's a, a really good thing that everybody should have that. that. Because you might not connect with some people and somebody else that you've been with or whatever. You've built like a friendship or whatever mm -hmm. with them. Um, what would you like to say to the people in Congress about uh, limiting the ability for people to get equipment? It shouldn't be limited. It should be, I guess, kind of open to wherever you want to go instead of saying this is where you need to go. Last time I knew America was a free country, right? <laughs> Thank you.
what competitive bidding can do. It can really isolate your ability to get the equipment. Um, it may be harder to get it if you have to go to a different city. You may have to go to another company that maybe you're not more comfortable with. That's, I know, an important one for me is that I want to work with people who know my story, who uh, understand who I take the time to actually listen to me, that maybe something else would come out that say, oh, well, maybe this might work better, uh, which, you know, doesn't necessarily happen in the bigger companies, and uh, that's a concern. Uh, getting quality equipment uh, versus the cheapest equipment, which, you know, sometimes the cheaper works just as well, but but for those instances where quality is going to last a lot longer, it's not going to break down, um, it's going to keep you um, active in your own lifestyle, uh, going to work like I do, um, very important. I'm Ryan Hurd from Urbandale, Iowa. You can make a difference and your voice matters. My name is John. I'm from Waterloo, Iowa. And I'm here to say it. That your voice matters and you can make a difference. Hi, my name is Bobby Johnson. I'm from Cedar Falls and I just want to let you know you can make a difference. I'm Jason Cantwell. I'm from Ames, Iowa. Your voice matters and you can make a difference. I'm Keith Carlson. And I am Betty and live in Waterloo, Iowa. And we just want to say your voice does matter and you can make a difference. My name is Jasper Eckstein. I'm from Milo, Iowa. I just want to say the voice matters. And you can make a difference. <laughs> Hi, I'm Terry Lynn Jorgensen from Waterloo, Iowa. Please do all you can to stop competitive bidding. Hi, my name is Drake Lamberti. I'm from Johnston, Iowa. I'm a C6. 56 quadriplegic and um, I just want to let you know that your voice makes a huge difference and really matters. My name is Jackie and I have spinal muscular atrophy. I am an owner of a dance studio. I found out I love dance when I enrolled in a class in college. As a person with a disability who owns a business, I already faced many challenges. I had to prove I have a disability every time I need new equipment. I lost access to my home health funding when I got married. And my government assistance was severely affected when I tried to make myself more independent. Do everything you can to gain to stop competitive bidding. People with disabilities don't need more headaches. My name is Tim Ashrell from Ankeny, Iowa. Senator Harkin, I want to thank you for championing the rights of people with disabilities when you helped enact the American with Disabilities Act so many years ago. Senator Harkin, we need you now more than ever to help stop competitive Medicare's competitive bidding program. Thank you.